how do you feel preseason has gone? Any like, oh my God, I'm in the NBA moments for you yet? Um, I think it's really just those, those oh my gosh moments really just coming, you know, here every day and just having the schedule of an NBA player is just what I've, you know, dreamt for for so long. So, um, you know, having a job to play basketball is, you know, surreal. And I just try to remind myself every day that, you know, I'm, don't take it for granted, you know, I'm thankful for it. So I'm just enjoying that, you know, preseason. Um, it's been great, you know, a lot of just learning different notes that, you know, I'm taking from every single game and um, a lot of coaching. So it's just been great. Darko mentioned the other day that he plans on at some point before the season sitting down with everyone, talking to them about their role, what he expects. Have you kind of talked to the coaches at all about what they see your role looking like? Um, it's still pretty early. I mean, for me personally, um, you know, people have ideas of their roles, you know, coming in, um, why they were brought here in the first place. Obviously, you know, things will change, you know, things will get tweaked a little bit um, for the team. And, and for sure, you know, it needs to be you know, to, to make a team great. But, um, you know, it's still early, but it's one of those things where, um, you know, I, I always know I have the mindset of coming in as the new guy and just trying to, you know, be that sponge and just taking all the coaching. And that's why I try to do every single day. Tuesday seemed like the biggest approximation of what a regular season game might feel like in terms of rotation, in terms of pace. What really jumped out for you, I mean, not necessarily that game specifically, but like what is the most different between what's going on in the 48 minutes in this game versus 40 minutes in Kansas? Um, I mean, I think it's just kind of the preparation that leads up to it is, is a little different. I mean, I'm not doing homework, you know, before or anything like that. So um, just, you know, learning how to utilize um, your, <laughs> your your timing with uh, different things and just get as prepared as you can be and, you know, really find what works, you know, best for you, um, I think is what's important for me is to, you know, find what, what gets me ready for a game. And um, there's going to be a little different things, you know, that I, I would have done at Kansas compared to here, but it's just finding those things, really. Are you, mentioning, are you tinkering with stuff for preparation each day? Like you're trying to figure out what works and you do Find your way through that? I'm um, not really. I mean, I just what I try to do always do is just be consistent with you know what I've been doing that that's helped me get here. Obviously, different you know workloads will change um, based on the day, but um, yeah, I'm not just going you know every single day and just doing something different. What I think will you know help in the game. It's really just kind of being um, staying consistent. Is, is what work at Kansas working here as well? Like, the amount of time you do film, the process of the game, is it pretty much the game. Um, I think that just goes back to the what the workload you know needs, and I think. The schedule here calls for a lot more, obviously, just because um, I talked about the school and you know different things to juggle with being at college. Um, here, it's just you know practice, get your work in, and then you have all day to really um, kind of utilize uh, for your advantage. So you know, watch more film, um, sit down with coach, and different things like that. So it's just um, a lot more is asked for you, and as it should. So. It's not your homework. No, not homework. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it is homework now, but in, in a different way. Exactly. Is there a routine that you emulate or that you can take from out there? Already? A routine? Yeah, a routine or even you know just a routine. Um, I think you know, back to going talking how I'm trying to just be consistent and, and getting prepared for different games and just um, just a normal day is uh, the routines, the stuff that I've had since I was really a little kid. Um, you know, get on the court, uh, doing the same little stretches that I do, and then obviously uh, in the weight room, different ones here, and then um, different things like uh, on the court with shooting that I've been doing since I was a little kid. Of um, the same thing I do on the backboard, what trying to get you know straight, um, hand in the cookie jar, stuff like my mom and my dad taught me, you know, back 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 then. So just stuff like that, and staying consistent. I can't you know say it enough. Is there anything in the game caught you by surprise? Mm, I mean, I always talk about um, just learning the spacing of the court. Yeah. Um, is big uh, compared to college. Um, you know, the, the different seconds um, rules in, in the paint where um, different post players can't stand there for um, amount of time. Where in college, you know, you feel like you go anywhere and oh, yeah. help somewhere defense somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just learning those different things, and I think that's been a, a, a good difference, kind of. People talk about the space of the college court to the NBA court, and I don't think people realize it's, it is a lot bigger yeah. as a player. Are you finding a lot more space out here? Yeah, for sure. It feels like there's a lot more room to, to um, just run. Yeah, a lot more room to get open for sure, but um, just running up and down um, is, is different. You know, being at Kansas, you feel like you're you know, packed in that historic gym. So, um, like I said, just getting used to that. But you know, every single day we come in here and um, get up and down. So it's, it's getting good for the game. How did, what's the story behind how did you end up in a Drake video with your son as well? <laughs> it was kind of funny. So I was actually, I think we were on the way back from Vancouver. Um, but I had came back 
to get some stuff out of my locker. I just seen people running around with cameras. And then I was like, what's going on? And they said, Drake's you know, filming a, a video with, with his son. But you know, I had plans to meet him when he came back um, to Toronto. And then it happened to just be there randomly. But he was like, yeah, you know, hopping for a little cameo. I said, that sounds good. They're just laughing because, you know, shout out Adonis, you know, his, his first song, you know, so that's great. But um, it was just a thing, cause like I said, it was so random that no one really knew what was happening. So when they saw it, they're like, oh, what the heck? Yeah. It was pretty cool. Exactly. Exactly. I hear it. What's it been like uh, playing alongside Pascal, and what have you learned from him so far? Oh, a ton. I mean, a, a vet like that, you know, so much knowledge to the game, and um, just one of those, one of those guys where I can go, you know, to with any any question, anything at all. Um, we have, you know, a couple of vets like that on our team where um, anything that I need help with, you know, they're the first people I turn to, um, you know, because they've really been in every situation there is, you know, in the NBA game. So. Um, great people to have um, to your side for a team. What are your expectations for yourself and for the team this season, the regular season? Um, I've always just talked about, you know, coming in as a new guy, like I said earlier, just being that sponge and trying to just take in as much, you know, knowledge from yeah, guys like P and um, Coach Darko and just things like that. But um, coming here and just try to make an impact in any way possible. Um, I've always played in a personal way of just doing what the team needs. Uh, whether it be making shots, I'm going to try to do every my power to come in here and be prepared for that. Whether it be that, you know, get on the floor, get loose balls, make extra possessions, and I'm going to just try to beat me and at the end of the day. For the last little while of your career, I'm sure you're playing two thirds, three quarters, more than that up again. Mm. Presumably here, if there's decent health, it mm. won't be that. Have you sort of prepared yourself for what that means and what you have to do while you're on the bench? Yeah, I mean, it's just coming here every day, being prepared, you know. Obviously, it's, it's a little different when you have um, vets like that that know what they're doing, and um, I'm the new guy coming in, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's just how you know, life is. That's how the NBA is, and um, you know, I take that and just want to work with it. And It's not necessarily using that as motivation because it's nothing that you know, no one's doing. It's just part of the game, you know? So it's, it's one of those things where, um, in my mindset, I want to just find something that makes me work harder, and I feel like that's it. What's up, man? What's up? You've seen a lot of uh, young players come and go in your career. Well, how do you see Brady Dick in his first training camp as a evolving into an NBA player? Uh, still a little he hectic, um, but I think uh, he's a good guy. Um, professional, still try to find his ways. But uh, I think we got a good group of guys who, you know, guiding and uh, try to teach him. And uh, hopefully he's gonna uh, embrace that role and, um, you know, Get better every single day. Has he been receptive? You need, to, you need to slow him down a little bit. You need to slow him down a little bit. Go a little For bit. For sure, in the yeah. games, uh, he goes uh, way too fast. But I mean, when I was 18, 19, and came here, I was uh, only one speed too. So, I mean, that's the process. Um, Got to go through it, and um, he's gonna get it. Has he been receptive to what you and the vets? Was receptive, man. Like, uh, is he um, taking, accepting, yet yeah, taking oh, uh, feedback? Yeah, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, when you're young, you, yeah, yeah, I got you. But, um, <laughs> I mean, I make sure, you know, um, I think that's uh, the reason why we, you know, the vets and uh, try to teach them as best as we can. Um, and uh, all the experience we got in this locker room, you know, just try to help him and all the young guys, um, you know, be better and good for the team. How about you, new coach, new teammates? I don't know, how was your first two weeks gone? Uh, I mean, so far so good. Uh, uh, the group made it easy for me. It was an easy transition. Uh, I know the coaching staff very well. Um, so comfortable. I'm already comfortable here. Um, like the like the group, the organization, everything works well. So uh, just try to get better myself as well. The Chicago game, for most of it, felt like a decent representation of what a regular season rotation might look like. How, how did you feel within it? How do you feel sort of in the hybrid groups? You know, does it, does what's, what's going on make sense to you? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, try to get stops on a defensive end. It don't matter who comes in, uh, get stops and run, you know, and um, I mean, we did it, you know, for the most of the time in preseason, um, shared the ball very well. Um, and defensively, you know, we got a lot of deflections and steals, and um, you know, we live and die by it. Dennis, I want to ask you about your your first year in Oklahoma City with Darko. Mm -hmm. Why did you two seem to hit it off so well and so quickly, and, and how did that relationship sort of um, continue through even when you left and uh, you went on to different teams? Too? 
I mean, he's uh, from Europe, maybe. Uh, he was the guy, you know, when I came to OKC, the first guy to reach out and uh, wanted to grab dinner with me and my wife, my family. That means a lot to me. Um, everybody who's doing that, you know, uh, AR in LA, uh, saying hi, um, you know, after every game to my kids, uh, that means a lot to me. So um, I think that's probably why, where the connection started. And um, he's just a guy who keeps it, you know, keeps it real, accountable, keeping keep uh, keeping people accountable, um, making sure everybody, you know, um, get on the same page. And um, I'm the same way, uh, always, you know, direct, and um, that's the reason uh, I think why we get along so well. We were talking to Malachi the other day, and he mentioned how much of a leadership role you're taking with this team. Has that always been the case for you, or is this is this Darko giving you more? sort of leash to be that leader? Uh, I mean, I just try to be the best uh, human being I can be every single day. I try to help my teammates. Um, I mean, we got a lot of people. I mean, Pascal Siakam and CB and OG. I mean, they won championship already. You know, um, I had a great summer uh, winning, you know, um, the World Cup. And I think with all our guys in the locker room, we got a lot of experience, you know, to help each other and lift each other up. And um, I mean, like I said, they made it easy for me to come in and, you know, uh, kind of be the point guard and lead the team. But end of the day, it's, uh, it's a team effort. You mentioned Pascal. What's it been like uh, getting to know him and playing alongside him? Um, I mean, every time when I played against him, um, hard playing guy. Tough to stop going right like me uh, uh, most of the time, but um, so far so good. I mean, uh, he's a good guy. Um, talking to the young guys as well, everybody's just chipping in, and uh, I told him, I mean, the best players always got to be the you know hardest working guys out there on the court and uh, even off the court. You know, being being the leaders and um, he embracing that role as well, and I think that's the reason why we're going. You know, have a great season. What are your expectations? I mean, every single game we play, I want to win. And then uh, we're going to live with the results. I mean, basketball, you can win every single game, but we, we're going in to take people's head off. I mean, every single game we, we want to play. and That's been my way. Um, of course, you cannot win every single game, but if you do it as a team, uh, play together, team chemistry is up, I think uh, it gives you always a great chance to win a basketball game. Is there a way to know when a team is ready for the regular season? No, I mean, the preseason don't mean nothing <laughs> uh, at all. So uh, that four and zero, what we have right now is, I mean, it's uh, nothing, but it's great that we come together um, and play how we want to play in a, in a regular season. But um, I think uh, the real war starts on the 25th, you know, um, against Minnesota. Is there something that you're hoping to see in the last preseason game that'll say we're ready for the 25th? <laughs> um, it's it's about uh, continuing to uh, flow on offensive end. Uh, I think it's going to be very important for us in this last game uh, to continue building our habits in uh, in transition. I think we're doing a much better job of getting to extreme corners, uh, opening up the floor for each other. And I think in the, in a half court, just our uh, decisiveness and aggressiveness of going downhill and and reading the game from there, being able to find uh, or layups uh, or finding a wide open man from there. Defensively, uh, we're continuing to add defensive schemes. Uh, obviously, we're not going to use all of those in in the preseason games, but just um, I'm excited to see our aggressiveness on defensive net and continue to carry us. Like this last game, we had 37 deflections in the game, and that's something that we're focusing a lot of uh, efforts uh, and, and um, you know watching video, doing drills, so we can continue to build on that. While you're building up your habits in the half court on offense. Does transition become even more important early in the season? No, for, for sure. I always think that uh, start of the season, you can sneak in uh, wins and, and winning games uh, just thanks to being really good defensively and being able to get out and, and, and run. You know, uh, it's much easier to build those habits to run in, in, in transition and score in, in early in the clock than to
to get chemistry of playing you know, in, a, in a half court. For that, you will need definitely more time. You had the starters out there until like midway through the fourth in Chicago. What's the approach in terms of the rotation tomorrow? Are you looking to continue to ramp guys up? Yeah, but I mean, uh, tomorrow is going to be our final um, final game before the start of regular season. So continuing to ramp up guys to get them to more or less to uh, minutes that we're going to be seeing in the regular season is, is going to be important for us. Darko, based on the Dennis Schroeder that you know, has he been underutilized in his, throughout his career to this point? Um, depending on the situation, depending with, on, on teams, um, I always thought that playing with the German national team where he was a focal point, especially the last couple of years, I thought that he did really, really good job. Um, he was in situations that, that uh, he was starting, not starting, uh, all of that. Um, I, I think that, that there is more to, to his game than, than he showed so far in NBA. Not having pressures for these games, has that affected your 10-man rotation and how how will you work through that while you get Precious back up to speed, which I presume will take a week or two? Yeah, for sure. Precious is very important for us and, and uh, for the rotations. Uh, so having him back uh, practicing with us uh, and uh, getting uh, some minutes tomorrow is going to be important for him to get his conditioning and feel for the game back. And, you know, we'll be patient. We know that he's going to need some time to get back uh, up to speed. You've seen sort of Jalen kind of, uh, McDaniels kind of fill in that can't guy roll if you want to say that. How, how do you think he's come along? And um, right on the fringe of that rotation. Yeah, he's uh, he's uh, he's doing really good job. Uh, he's one of those players. He just finds the way. He's uh, with his cuts or uh, defensively affecting the game with his length or uh, just uh, shooting the, the you know open shots. I think he's uh, he's making a huge progress last couple of weeks. I believe so. I believe so. We are looking to, to get him in a game there and get, get some uh, minutes for him. Regardless of what the minutes look like for Grady early in the season, what are you looking for from him to kind of let you know that he's getting it, he's, he's where he needs to be? Um, it's definitely for a rookie, for a young rookie. It's, it's going to be uh, a lot of patience and time. Uh, you know, from first uh, preseason game when he stepped on, a, on the court, you could just see that the game is just like so fast for him and that, that he is rushing things. I think that last couple of games, uh, last two games, that he did better job of like, you know, slowing down a little bit. He's got to slow down himself before the game slows down for him. Uh, and uh, that's a normal thing for, for all the rookies. I think uh, the way he is uh, picking up defensive things and getting better in our uh, schemes, understanding uh, personnel designations, I think it's going to be very important for him. And then uh, offensively, just the way he is uh, playing without the ball, the way he's cutting and moving and creating, uh, creating offense for us. You talked with him about his routine and <coughs> developing one. and like It's a different one than obviously in college to, to the NBA. Do you let the young guys develop their own routine or, or do, would you prefer to sort of steer that in, in a direction? Um, definitely early in the career you want to you know to help guys to understand what they need to do how they need to do it uh, I always encourage young guys to to talk to veteran players so they can get a feel and I, uh, I'm a big believer like all NBA guys what they learn in the first two years that becomes their routine for a whole career and it's hard to change those those later so I really think that we have as coaches we have two three years to really help those guys to understand this is how you take care of your body this is what you need to work on in the season this is what off season looks like so we set a standard so we, you know when they get, become more veteran players they know what is the expectation there you guys had with um Yak being out, you guys have used some of those smaller, small ball lineups with even Dennis and Gary. It's something we've seen the Raptors close with a lineup sort of like that. Is that something you see yourself using this season? And, and how did you think that looked? Everything is on a table, and uh, I think Jakob uh, is a very, very important player for us in rotation. And uh, I, I see him uh, closing the games for us, uh, but there might be situations that uh, just matchups uh, will need to do some, something different. But um, as of now, I think he's doing a really, really good job on both ends of the floor, and um, definitely we're going to be open for everything.